Hello student, this is Darasa Online. My name is Edgar Mshana. I'm teaching advanced mathematics. Today we have the topic of numerical methods. And the, in this topic we are going to discuss uh, two subtopics. One we have the application of Newton's Rapton method. But again number two we have the derivation of second method. Dear student, join with me till the end of this presentation. So, my dear student, we are starting with uh, finding, that is one, it is finding, finding the square root, the square root of positive, positive, Real, real numbers, eh? that is what we are going to start with. Just find the square root of uh, positive real numbers. Now, let, that is let x be eh, the square root of real number n. That means uh, x is equal to square, that is square root. That is, x is equal to square root of, of n. Then, let us uh, squaring from both sides. So here, just squaring, squaring from both sides. We are going to have x squared is equal to n. So let us shift n in our left hand side. So we're going to have x squared minus n is equal to 0. Now, my dear student, suppose this is our function. So now let that is f of x uh, is equal to x squared minus n. Uh, now, in general, we say that is in general, in general, we say f of xn is equal to x squared n minus n. That is just the general, uh, the general function. Now let us find the derivative uh, of this function. That is f of xn dash. Uh, the derivative of our function will be equals to, that is 2 xn, that is 2 xn. Now, using, here we just say using uh, Newton's Raphson method. Now, the, me the method states that uh, xn plus 1 is equal to xn minus uh, f of xn over f of xn dash, eh? that is Newton Raphson method. Now, xn plus 1 will be equals to xn uh, minus, now f of xn eh, is our function, this one, that is uh, bracket of xn squared minus n over now, here we have the derivative of our function, which is 2xn. Now, let us find the LCM. Eh? So, the LCM, we have xn plus 1 is equal to, so the LCM, the lowest common multiple, will be equals to 2xn. Now, 2xn divided by 1 times xn, we are going to have 2xn squared minus. So again, we take 2xn divided by 2xn, that is 1. So we are going to remain with uh, xn squared minus n. Now it is time to open up the brackets. So we are going to have 2xn squared. So here we have 
negative times xn squared will be minus uh, xn squared. Then again, we have negative times negative. We are going to have positive n over 2xn. So, xn plus 1 will be equals to so here we have 2xn squared minus xn squared. So we are going to remain with xn squared. And then we have plus n. So here plus, plus n over. So again we have 2xn. So here we divide by 2xn. In that case, this can be written as xn squared over 2xn plus n over 2xn. So we are going to remain with, that is xn over 2 plus n over 2xn. So in the denominator we have 2, that is common. So we are going to have 1 over 2 bracket of, that is xn plus n over, over xn. Now, therefore, we say x n plus 1 is equal to 1 over 2 bracket of xn plus n over xn. So this is the general formula for finding the square root of a positive real number. So, you can say this one uh, is the general, general formula uh, for finding the square root of positive, positive really real numbers, okay? Now, my dear student, let us see how we can apply uh, our general formula by the, qu the review question one. We have the review question one. Uh, the question says, uh, find the square root of 10 given that x1 is equal to 3. Use two iterations only. But our answers to three decimal places. Now that is our question uh, where we are going to apply our, our general formula of finding the square root of a positive number. So, my dear student, uh, from our review question, we have been given, uh, we have uh, the root of 10. That means uh, n is equal to 10. But again, we have uh, x1, which is equal to 3. So x1 is equal to 3. So remember, our general formula says uh, xn plus 1 is equal to a half bracket of, we have xn plus n over xn. Now that is our general formula. So for first iteration, so for first iteration, uh, we say n is equal to 1. Keep n is equal to 1. So if x is equal to 1, that is 1 plus 1, we are going to have x2 is equal to a half. Then again, here we have xn. Remember, n is 1, so we are going to have x1 plus, again, we have n over here is xn, our n is 1, so that is x, x1. So we can substitute values for x1 and n. So here we are going to have a half bracket of uh, the value of x1, that is equal to 3. So here we have 3 plus, then value of n, that is, that is 10. So we have 10 over, again, is 3. So my dear student, you can use your uh, scientific calculator uh, to find x2. So just take your scientific calculator 
uh, to get the value of uh, x2. This is x2. So we have x2. So we are going to have uh, this answer 3 uh, 0.167. Remember, question says uh, to three decimal places. So make sure that we maintain the number of decimal decimal places. That is two, three decimal place. So again, we'll continue because they said use two iterations only. So we continue for the second iteration. So for the second iteration, that is, that is for second, second iteration, iteration. This time, uh, we say n is equal to 2. n is equal to 2. Remember, for the first iteration, uh, n uh, was 1. So this time, we have n is equal to 2. So we substitute 2 in our general formula. So that is n plus 1. Our n is 2, so it is 2 plus 1. We are going to have uh, x3, which is equal to, again, we have a half. That is a half bracket of, then in the bracket, we have xn. Our n is 2, so that is x2 plus n over x2. That is, that is our general formula for the second iteration. So x2. It is this one. Eh? We have x2. So x3 b equals to a half bracket of. Now x2, we have 3.167 plus. So our n remain uh, the same. That is 10. So it is 10 over uh, 3.167. Now, my dear student, you can use uh, your calculator to find uh, x3. So our approximation uh, will be equals to, this time we have 3.162. Again, remember to maintain uh, the number of decimal places. Uh, that is to three decimal places. So our answers always uh, must be to three uh, decimal, decimal places. Now, that is the end of our solution because the question said just use two iterations. So that is uh, the end of, of the solution. Now, my dear student, let us proceed. The second part, that is uh, finding the reciprocal of a positive real number. So that is another application of newton rafton method. Now, let again, let x uh, is equal to... 1 over n. n is our positive, our positive real number. So this one can be also written as 1 over x uh, is equal to n. So vice versa is true. Now let us shift this real number to our left-hand side. So we are going to have 1 over x minus n is equal to 0. Now again, call this is our function. That is... Uh, let f of x is equal to 1 over x minus n. Uh, that is your function. But in general, in general, you can write this as, that is in general, in general, you can say that is uh, f of xn is equal to 1 over xn minus n. So this is our general, general uh, function of finding the reciprocal of the given positive uh, real number. Now, we can find uh, the derivative of our function. Uh, that's the derivative of our function. But this function also can be uh, written as uh, x uh, power negative 1 n minus, minus n. So to find the derivative of this function, uh, this one is the same as negative of x n uh, minus 2. We just find the derivative uh, of our function. So, if this is the derivative, then we apply the Newton uh, Rapton method, uh, which says uh, that is applying applying Newton Newton's uh, Rapton 
method which says uh, xn plus 1 is equal to xn uh, minus f of xn over f of xn dash. So that is our, uh, the general formula for Newton Rapton method. So xn plus 1 will be equals to, uh, we have xn minus. Now f of xn, that is your function we have, uh, which is equal to, uh, that is 1 over xn minus any uh, over, then it is a derivative. Derivative is negative xn uh, for negative 2. So again, we are going to have xn, uh, that is negative, divided by a negative, that is a positive. So it will be plus, uh, we have 1 over xn minus n. So again, we shift this one, uh, it will be xn uh, squared, that is xn squared. So now we can open up the bracket by saying uh, xn plus now, here we have xn squared times 1 over xn, which is going to be xn. Then again, xn squared times uh, negative n, that is negative n xn squared. So here we are going to have, this is xn plus xn, which is 2 xn minus n xn squared. Therefore, uh, xn plus 1 will be equals to, now xn here is common. So, we can say xn out of the bracket, we are going to have 2 minus. So here we are going to remain with the xn. That is uh, n uh, n xn, that is n, uh, n xn. Now this is the general formula for finding the reciprocal of a positive uh, real number. So we say uh, either general, general formula for finding the reciprocal reciprocal of a positive positive real real number okay now let us see a question a review question 2 uh, which says uh, find the reciprocal of 6 given that x1 is equal to 0 0.15 use two iterations only and giving your answers correct it to three uh, decimal place. So we have a question. So given, uh, find the reciprocal of six, therefore n is equal to six. So here n is equal to six. And again, we have x1, which is equal to 0 0.15. So x1 is equal to 0 0.115. Now remember we have the general formula for finding the reciprocal of a positive uh, real number, uh, which, which says uh, xn plus 1, uh, this one is equal to uh, xn bracket of uh, 2 minus any uh, xn. Uh, that is your general, general, general formula. Now remember, uh, n is 6 and x1 is equal to 15. So we can substitute these values in your general formula. But for first iteration, that is uh, first iteration, we say n is equal to 1. So if n is equal to 1, we are going to have 1 plus 1, that is x2 is equal to x1 uh, bracket of 2 minus any x1. So 
x2 will be equals to x1, that is 0 0.15 bracket of, then we have 2 minus, now our n is 6, so we have 6 times 0 0.15. Now, we just take your calculator to, to compute uh, the final answer. So, by using calculator, we are going to have this answer. That is 0 0.165. That is, uh, that is x2. Remember, they said giving your answers correctly to three decimal places. So, make sure to maintain uh, the number of decimal places. That is uh, to three decimal places small places. Now again, for the second iteration, that is for second, second iteration, iteration, this time uh, we say n is equal to 2. So here n is equal to 2. So we just substitute the value of n uh, in our general, general formula for finding the reciprocal of a positive real number. So that is uh, 2 plus 1, it will be x3, which is equal to, now here we have xn, that is x2, bracket of 2 minus, we have n times xn, that is x, x2. So we just substitute now values for x2 and n. So here we are going to have x2, uh, our x2, it is this one, that is 0 0.165 bracket of 2 minus our n remain the same. So it is 6 times, again, we have x2, that is 0 0.165. Now again, just take your scientific calculator uh, to compute the final answer. So, the final answer will be uh, 0 0.167, that is, that is x3. But again, remember to maintain uh, the number of decimal places, that is to three decimal places. So, our answer always, uh, that is to three decimal, decimal places. Now, that is how to find the reciprocal of the given positive uh, real numbers. So, student will proceed with the uh, subtopic two, that is the derivation of a second method. Now, in this subtopic, here we have uh, a curve eh, crossed by the straight line. Now, this line, uh, that has a, a point C, B, A is called the second line because it crosses uh, more than two, more than one point of of the curve. So, any line uh, which intersect more than two points of the curve uh, is called the second line. So, line C B A that is a second line because it crosses to uh, to point C and point T, point A. Now, let us find the slope uh, of these points. Now, since it is a straight line, uh, therefore slope of C A, slope of C A uh, will be the same as slope, uh, slope of uh, B, B A. Uh, the slope of C A will be the same as slope of B A. Now, what is the slope of C A? Now, CA uh, is the same as taking uh, F of XN plus 1 minus F of XN. That is the same as uh, Y2 minus Y1 over, uh, this time we have XN plus 1 minus Xn, that is the same as uh, x2 minus 
uh, x1. That is the definition for a slope. That is for CA. Then, for the case of BA, uh, the slope of BA, again, we take uh, f of x plus 1 minus 0. This time we have 0. That is uh, f of xn plus 1 minus 0. Uh, that is the same as y2 minus, minus y1. Then, over x2 minus uh, x1. So, x2 the same as xn uh, plus 1. We call that is xn plus 1 minus. Then, x1 will be xn plus 2. So, here we minus uh, xn plus 2. That is the definition for a slope. Just take a change in y over change in x. That is for CA. And if for BA, we do the same. Change in y over change in, change in x. Now, let us do cross multiplication. That is cross multiplication. So we are going to have, uh, starting with uh, f. That is f of xn plus 1 minus f of xn. Now, this one times, we times by uh, xn plus 1 minus xn plus 2. So, this is equal to, then again, we have xn plus 1 minus xn. Uh, this one times uh, the function f of xn plus c plus 1. Remember, our interest is to make xn plus 2 the subject. So, in this point, we can divide by f of xn plus 1 minus f of xn. So, we just divide. So, again, here we just divide by f of xn plus 1 minus f of xn. So we do this if, uh, to both sides. So again here, we divide by f of xn plus 1 minus f of xn. So in this case, uh, we can simplify this way. So we are going to remain with we are going to remain with uh, x n plus 1 minus x n plus 2, which is equal to, now in our right hand side we have uh, x n plus 1 minus x n. Now this one divided by f of x n plus 1 minus f of xn. Now, the whole thing times uh, f of xn plus e plus 1. Now, again, remember, our interest is to make xn plus 2 the subject. So, if that is the case, we can shift e xn plus 2, or we can shift xn plus 1 in our left hand side. But remem remember, we need xn plus 2 uh, to remain positive. So we are going to have xn plus 2 as positive. So xn plus 1, xn plus 1, we subtract with uh, the expression which is in our right hand side. So that one minus we have xn plus 1 minus xn. Then over uh, we have f of xn plus 1. That is f of xn plus 1 minus f of xn then times 
f of xn plus 1, that is times f of xn plus e plus 1. Now, my dear student, this is called the second method. So the derived here, uh, this general formula is called the second method, is called the second t second method so after having this general formula uh, let us see where we can apply uh, our general formula let us have a question that is review question uh, 3 let us have a review question That is the review question three. Now the question says uh, solve, solve the function f of x is equal to x squared minus 2x minus 1 using second t. Uh, method using second method in two iterations two iterations given that x1 is equal to 2 and the x2 is equal to 3. Rounding, that is rounding all your calculations, calculations to 3 decimal places. Now that is your question. Uh, we are going to see how uh, this formula is useful uh, in such a kind of equation. Now given, let us have a solution. We have given the function. We have the function that is f of x is equal to x squared minus 2x minus 1. But again, we have been given two values, x1 and the x2. So here x1 is equal to 2 and the x2 is equal to 3. We are supposed to use the second method uh, to solve uh, this quadratic function. Now, if we have x1, it is possible to find f of x1. That is, uh, when x1 is equal to 2, so f of x1 will be equals to, so we just substitute the value of x1 in our function. So that is 2 squared, that is 4, minus 2 times 2, that is 4 minus 4. So we are going to remain with a negative 1 because it is 4 minus 4 minus 1. So we are going to have a negative 1. So again, we have x2, that is x2 is equal to 3. So if we have x2, it is possible to find f of x2. And that is f of x2. Why? Because we just substitute the value of x2 in our function. That is uh, 3 squared. That is 9. Then minus 2 times 3. So it is 9 minus 6. Uh, that is going to be 3. 3 minus 2. We are going to have 2. Now we have x1 and f of x1, x2 and f of x2. So now we can use our general formula. So first iteration, so we say first iteration, we say n is equal to 1. So when n is equal to 1, that is 
uh, 1 plus 2, we have x3 is equal to, again, 1 plus 1, that is x2 minus bracket of, so again, we have x2 minus x1 over f of x2 minus f of x1, then times f of xn plus 1, that is f of x x2, that is f of x2. So we can substitute values uh, we have. So x2, x2 is 3. So here we have 3 minus bracket of. Then again we have x2, that is 3 minus. We have x1, x1, that is 2. So here minus 2 over f of x2, which is 2. So here we have 2 minus, that is f of uh, x1, which is equal to negative 1. Then times f of x2. Now, f of x2 again is 2. So this one is equal to 3 minus. Here we have 3 minus 2. So we have 1 over, we have 2 minus minus 1, that is 3. But this one times times 2. So this is 3 minus 2 over, over 3. So just use your, uh, use your calculator to find the, the final answer. So we have 3 <coughs> minus 2 over 3. But remember, we write in decimal uh, in decimal places. So we are going to have x3, which is equal to 2.333. So maintain the number of decimal, uh, decimal places. That is three decimal places. So this one, uh, 2, 3, that is three decimal places. Now, that was for first iteration. Let us proceed for the second iteration. So, for the case of second iteration, so we are going to have, that is second iteration. is when this time n is equal to 2, that is n is equal to 2. So we substitute the value of n in our general formula. So we are going to have, that is x4, the same as 2 plus 2, 4, uh, which is equal to x3 minus, then we have uh, x3 again, minus, uh, we have x2 over, f of x3 minus f of x2, then bracket of uh, f of x3, that is xn plus, plus 1. So here we have x3, so it is possible to find f of x3. So if that is if x3, uh, if x3 is equal to 2.333, now it is possible to find f of x3. So we just substitute the value of x3 uh, in our in our function. So just use your uh, use your calculator to find the value of f of uh, x3. 3. So f of x3 in this case will be equals to uh, negative 0 0.222. That is f of x3. So again, we substitute in our formula. So x4 will be equals to, now we have x3. x3 is 2.3. 3, 3, minus bracket of, uh, we have x3, 
Again, that is 2.333 minus, then we have x2. Remember, x2 is 3. So here we have 3 over. So again, we have f of x3. f of x3 is negative uh, 0 0.222 minus uh, f of x2. F of x2 is 2. So again, we times by f of x3. So again, is negative 0 0.222. So it times again to use, uh, it is a time to use your calculator uh, to find the, the final answer. So just take your calculator and the <coughs> get the, the final answer. So here we are going to have the following answer. So x4 is equal to 2.399. But you can make approximation. So this one approximated as uh, 2. So we can add two zeros uh, to maintain the number of decimal places. So it will be 2.400. Zero, zero. That is 2, 3, 3, decimal, decimal places. That is 2, 3, decimal places. Now that is how eh, to use our general formula, which is called the second method. Now, my dear student, we have seen uh, the application of Newton uh, Rathbone method by finding the square root of a positive real number. But again, to find the reciprocal of a positive real number. And the last part was uh, the derivation of a second method and how to use it by uh, the previous uh, review question. Now, it is time uh, for you to practice the numerical method questions and here I have some few uh, some few uh, review questions for you call assignment so number one question says Show, show that the iterative formula for for solving Solving the equation 2x squared minus 6x minus 3 is equal to, z to 0 is xn plus 1 is equal to 2x squared plus 3 over 4xn minus 6. But again, the second question. Show that. Show that the equation. Three x squared plus x five is equal to zero has has a real root 
between x1 and the x is equal to 2 because here use So, my dear student, these are two questions. Make sure that you practice more questions on this topic of uh, numerical method. Till next time, see you.